let's pretend we're the Monday group. And we have to measure out how much sugar Joe ate on Monday. Let's see what Joe had for breakfast. He basically had an easy breakfast, you know, orange juice and cereal. So he had orange juice, raisin bran, and milk. We already know that orange juice has seven teaspoons of sugar in it. The raisin bran, 20 grams of sugar, which is five teaspoons. And some low-fat milk, six grams, which will round down to one teaspoon, okay? So here's the Monday cup. And we're going to add in what he had for breakfast. So now it's time for dinner. Oh, man, I, he didn't have time to cook dinner, so he went out to get a normal pizza and soda. Okay? Um, the orange soda that he decided to have, 52 grams of sugar. Orange soda, which is 13 teaspoons. See that? And a soda. So we'll add this. There we go. <laughs> okay. That is a lot of sugar. Let me hold this up. And this is from a diet that's really innocuous. You know, things we eat every day. There's no obvious hits of sugar like candy, cakes, or cookies. This is like the standard American diet. This is Monday. Now, if Joe were to eat similarly the rest of the week, this is what it would look like. So, something we're ingesting this much of, shouldn't we find out more about? Because this is, this is pretty average. This is not like some of these school kids, what they're eating. This is average. So let's take a look at now what exactly is sugar.